right. Oh, that force limit has dropped a little bit. That's costing us a decent bit on month. Hold on a minute, it's costing us so much, or that much per month, but we still got about six, four, and four ducats per month income. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that over time it's gonna jump back up. It's just uh, after the war, there's some problems with the trauma and all that. That was probably gonna affect the total manpower and well, yeah, various things, I suppose. Right, we haven't started coring Ferrara yet, but it's not having a rebellion or anything like that, so I'm okay with that. Oh, right, new administration on for five years or until it's cored. You've got pretty good uh, communications there. I mean, I suppose it's just through the road over here, so I guess it doesn't make it... Or doesn't surprise us too much. Are they producing any... Naval stuff in here? No, they're not. The question is, do you want them to produce naval stuff in here? This would be another place to produce it, at least. Or get some ships in there. I mean, we don't necessarily need them to be building their naval stuff to be able to build ships there. And it does have level 2 harborage, which is probably actually the highest that we have, unless... Oh, well, not quite. Liguria is level 5. Why don't we build ships there, then? That's a good question, because that would be a lot faster. Let's move our fleet there. We'll get it to five. Oh, right, yeah, we got the... Oh, it is the galleys that we need to upgrade. All right. Well, let's do that. We've got war galleys and hulks. And then we got two... Oh, right, we haven't upgraded these either. All right, let's send you back to Livorno. We'll upgrade you so you'll have the trade power of three, I believe. After that, it's not... Too expensive. Oh, trade power five. Wow, that's doubled. I mean, yeah, I'm not complaining. All right, so there's a little claim here. Is oh right, how's the war? Oh, well, England and Aragon and part of Castile have been seized down. I have a feeling that the fortunes of war have been uh, turning around quite. Oh yeah, minus forty-five of the prisoners now. We're going to follow in the area. Um, election. Man who respects the common people. Merchants are the salt of the Florence. So merchants are the... Well, Mercanti, yeah, that would make sense. The artisans are the... Well, yeah. Artigiani. And... Popolo is the commoners. Uh, so that would be national unrest. Would be... Less... Oh, it would be quite a bit of corruption, though. Almost production inefficiency. I'm gonna go with the merchants for now. And then election... I suppose we could just keep this guy. It's pretty good. Although the Republican tradition is dropping pretty hard with every re-election. So we need... Five, six, technically seven months to be, start coring Ferrara. Although, once the uh, war exhaustion goes down, I'm pretty sure that that is going to make it slightly cheaper again. Unless, well, I don't know if it's really listed in there. Let's have a look at the price. The corruption does co increase the cost. Marsh Noble House of Este. Neutralization said, no, the um, workshop doesn't actually have an increase on the coring cost anymore. Or at least not on this mod. Good to know. Yeah, we got the state reach at least right, right around where it should be. That's the influence on the bureaucrats. It's slowly going up again. It's monthly by less than... Points one, so yeah, um, it's gonna take a while before it's gonna reach a 20 that we needed to be, which means that we should probably just keep on all taking advisors that are bureaucrats. Well, this is a trader, could we perhaps get some bureaucrats? I mean, there is still this guy, it'll be level one. 
You know what? Yeah, we'll do that one. It's a bit less trade power for us, which means that we'll probably lose some cash. Oh, the taxes are still the biggest one. Oh, and war reparations. Yes, that makes sense. We did do some of those deals. Wait for the saves to be completed and all that before I'm gonna do anything because otherwise the game is gonna crash. We've got 37% stability points. But that is slowly getting faster and faster, I presume, because every time that we get a admin tech, I believe it does increase it a little. Oh, we're going to get an idea group next level. So the question is, what should we take? We're going to probably take... Hold on a minute. What do we have? We've got two admin, and we've got one diplo and one military. So the trade ideas would always be a decent one. I mean, we've got plenty of Diplo points, generally speaking. So that would indeed be a s relatively smart. We don't need the cultural ideas necessarily anymore because we already got the thing. Uh, from uh, Tuscany, that is. I mean, it's still not necessarily bad. I think the trade ideas would be pretty good. So this. Uh, Trade range and all that, ship trade power, uh, provincial trade power modifier, Roman dividends, yes, we'll take the money. Uh, reasonable regulation, so communist production infrastructure going down with 10%, Oh, And then some trade steering, caravan power, merchant trade power, Oh, so each merchant will have more power. And then global trade power, 20%, so that is tempting, especially for an Italian nation. Although I suspect that's uh, our trade node in here, even though it is an end node, whereas Venice is not actually on this, uh, it might still not be all that valuable. I mean, Venice is actually more valuable right now. There's a little bit of it going down our way, but i only got seven ducats here. Well, we got our worker out of us if we want to make the most money in there, or we just go ahead. Well, no. I'd... If I take most of Venice or the Venice trade node for myself, then we can just transfer all of it into our trade node, which would make sense. Right, still need a bit more admin points to get the coring going. And two I want to... Oh, Milana Saluta. Okay. Sure, I'll go ahead. I don't think you actually need my territory for that, but... Actually, no, you probably do need it, because you want to go around it. Montferrat, Ferrara, Mantua... Oh, right, they want to be able to go around there. Oh, so Ferrara is in that as well. Oh. Oh well. Not my problem. If they beat down Milan, that's fine by me. Okay, two more months and we're going to start the coring. Oh. Great order of Santo Stefano. People influence. Galley combat ability. Oh. You had a people influence. I see no problem with this. Speaking of which, we've got a lot of people in Florida right now. Let's go with the... Hmm. We don't really need the inflation reduction right now. I'm just going to go with the church levy tax. Or levy church tax, rather. So the mana costs are going to go down for the taxes. And it's going to be quite a massive uh, reduction in there. Well, 5% is not necessarily that massive, but in the end it's going to be like... Uh, Probably somewhere between... Actually, is it going to be all that much? Not necessarily, but it's going to be some points uh, saved in the end anyway. Right, and these are still repairing. Actually, quite slowly, I might add. How quickly are they repairing, then? They've been here for a while. 29% into... 32. Oh, so it's about 4% per month. Right, so it's going to take a while. Uh, let's start coring Ferrara around the other end. Oh, he has gone down a little bit. Huh. 
Well, that's fine by me. The house soon will be done. 1441. Oh man, we're actually pretty close to the vanilla start date now. Less than 10 years away. Right, so I presume we've got relatively high accuracy expansion still. Oh, and look at that. Able state to Gravana. They, what about Urbino? Did they... Oh, they're in the coalition against... Uh, oh! Right, Urbino is no longer allied to the Papal State. Now that smells like a possibility there. Let's go ahead and uh, get a spy network going in there. If I can cut Papal States in half, I mean, it means they'll hate me, but we're going to get neighboring into... or neighboring Ancona, which is going to allow us to maybe take them out as well. Oh, and they are allies in Nice, okay. On Nizza. Right. Oh, Montferrat and Nola valid rival. Oh no. Anyway. What do we have here? As options. So we've got Castile, which is a lot stronger in navy, not so much in army, which is a bit of a surprise. Milan is weaker. Um I could rival Brittany, which I presume that they're gonna get a lot weaker after this coalition war is over. Assuming that, it, yeah, it's not over yet. It probably will be soon. That's uh, potentially going to give us even more power protection, which... Oh! Yeah, we're getting the extra points right now. That's good. Also, we've got a lot of um, prestige that we could burn for the diplomatic insults. You know what? Who's your rivals or enemies? Portugal. Uh, I don't know if I really want to worry about Portugal. Um, what about... Savoy. Okay, Savoy might actually be a smart use of uh, prestige here. Because it's Papal States in Austria. Wait. Oh! Scorn for Elson doesn't give nothing. Okay, well, let's just send that regular insult then. A bit surprised by that, but okay. Right, oh yeah, this is... Three of the provinces uh, on this state are... Papal states. Hmm, that may be a problem. We want to take those. Also, how much do we have that... Oh! Rising support among the Emilian population. Okay. Local unrest goes down quite a bit for a 10 year period in uh, the Emilian provinces. Oh, they are building something in here. Arborage. Oh, is there some other places that are building? Oh, Pisa is building the road still, right? And then working on the pathing, so is Livorno. Anything else working or something? Uh, not that I can see. Well, of course, other than Massa, but that we already knew. Oh, immediate rival. Oh, right, because the month took over. But they've got 89% war score right now. Um, or negative war score, that is. Yeah, they may have taken a bit too large um, junior partner on themselves. Although, wow. Iberia is in flames. Just <laughs> seeching down everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but almost. The Papal State has cancelled the military access that we gave them. Oh no! How much? Uh, who is Padua allied to? Austria and Trieste. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. The Mantua, but we can get a claim there eventually. What about. Oh, right, Verona. You were allied to Urbino. Ah. Oh. Also in the trade league with Venice. Because if I take Urbino, I mean... Yeah, Verona is easy to beat down, I'm pretty sure about that. But we probably have a bit too high aggressive expansion right now to even try to take Verona for ourselves. We could get some money from them, of course. But that's about it, I reckon.
I haven't actually paid much attention to the economy recently. Well, we did have the war, of course. We might as well take a look at the... Some provinces. I think, well, Pisa is probably quite busy. Siena might be somewhat busy. We could have a look at the... Oh, Livorno is probably quite busy as well. But the provinces around Siena, aside from Florence or Firenze. Uh, so, let's have a look at the... Pause for a moment. We've got a decent bit of uh, rural population down here, for example. Is there anything that we could invest into? Farmlands, definitely. What are they mining here? Uh, Cecil. Okay, so it's going to be farmland investment then. Then the next province. We've got a lot of... Mi oh, right. What are you mining here then? Right, that's metals and uh, probably salt as well. Is there a workforce available? A tiny bit. Okay, so we could probably invest a bit in the mining there. And what about here? Now let's have a look at the workforce first. So there's plenty of peasantry available. And then the property... We're going to increase the farmlands a little bit at least. Technically we could increase the forestry, but that would hit the max cap probably sooner again. So let's go with the farmlands. And then the last one over here, so that has... Actually quite a bit of farmlands already. The forests might be the safer option in here to expand. Assuming that there's population available. Yeah, so we'll upgrade the foresters there. So that should increase the productions. At least a little bit. How much of an impact is gonna have? I'm not entirely sure. Like in terms of the income. I mean, we've got nine tuckets income per month right now. Well, okay, it's 8.4 actually. Just tell me nine over that. Oh. Right, because it doesn't factor in the diplomatic income in here. The war operations. Are... What does it? No, it does factor it in there. But for some reason, the there's a discrepancy in here then. Oh, never mind. Now there isn't. Oh, well, that's probably showing me the last year's kind of uh, tax income. Like the December's kind of tax income before the new taxes were set at the start of the January. That makes a little bit more sense, I suppose. What are paper points? How much are we? Oh, wow. 4.8 paper influence per year. But yeah, I think we're going to start utilizing a lot more of these um, things in here. Might even save up the points for the beautify local saint. Oh, Roman dividends. Yes, I'll take the money. I actually wonder, if I was to increase relations with Venice, I don't think I can ally them, but I could probably increase relations with them for a little bit. I wonder if it's going to open up a Mediki bank over there then, or is it going to be something that is going to happen over time? Like at certain points in history, like once the banks are historically opened in the various cities, then it's gonna give me. Oh! Oh, discovery is spreading. Oh! Okay. We know China. Let's have a look at the map here. So, Great Ming is quite great. We know northern um, India as well. We know a lot of Siberia. We know, well, I mean, I think we already knew quite a bit of the Scandinavia, but not necessarily all of it. Not much has been explored to the New World yet, of course. I mean, it's only 1437. So we're just 80 years into the... Right, but that was a fair bit of uh, discovery spreading. Just a massive list of them. Right, we could invest in military tech. I think I will do that. Not that I necessarily need it, but... You know. Probably doesn't hurt. And we can get better guns. Yeah. And then we got the tactics increase. And hold on, we got the morale of armies increase. So we got almost two points in morale now. I mean, the morales are quite smaller than in vanilla. But it does mean that the battles are faster. 
in a lot of ways. So have we got on the land force limit? Yeah, it's back to 11 now. Uh, oh wow, we got, have another 10 ships. Hmm. Let's get a transport in here, actually. Have we got, oh wow, we got blockade capability for 16 dev. Oh, have we got... Have we got an inner... Oh yeah, we can have two leaders now, so that means that we've probably got an... something that increases it. Actually, what is it that increases? Oh, power protection. Right. That makes sense. And 15.6 professionalism, so it's technically rounded up to 16 still. And we got the 16% um, state reach now. Oh, that's going up. And Venice is wanting military access through me for what exactly? Just for, okay. There's a lot, oh right, it's probably a lot of nations after the, oh yeah, there's a piece. Britain will end the overlordship of Aragon, where the coalition catches barely zero character expansion, 33.6 prestige. So everyone just wants to move their troops through my lands. But Aragon is independent. Huzzah! But yeah, it says everyone, hey, could we please walk through your lands? We want to get home. Oh, right, Milan is actually doing quite well in the... Oh, Castile has insulted me. That's a bit rude. Ah, uh, we can recall that double I suppose. But yeah, now we've got this area here. We could actually... Oh, these ships are still repairing. Oh, bollocks. I was hoping that they'd be ready to move out again, but I guess not. Uh, did we ever get the... No, the pathing is still underway. Very slowly. I think the next uh, election that we have, we're going to have to se select someone else because while uh, Cosimo is absolutely magnificent as a leader, it's just, um, oh, right, yeah, righteous as well. It's deeper reputation goes up a little bit and more tradition. Hmm. To be fair, that extra tradition is pretty good. How much is our faction support right now? Oh, right. Uh, all the influence is 12. Still need to go higher, but it is going up quite quickly now. But Metropolitans are still getting more influence, but I think it's... Well, the Aristocrats and the Spiritualists are losing a decent bit of footing in here right now, which is actually probably fine. We just need to get the Bureaucrats to 20, and then we can start doing the reforms. Uh, at least at, at least one of the reforms. Might take more than that to get all of them, but... Uh, what was it, actually? Let's have a look at the reforms. Uh, is it reform the administration? Yes. But it was the magic rates, so that's going to increase the basic welfare. Stability increase in the wall is going to go up, and then provincial corruption is going to go down a little bit. But we'll get a lot of state corruption at first, and the bureaucracy will gain corruption and all that. But that is, I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, is there anything else that state reach? I mean, we need to get the bureaucratic influence higher as well. Oh, right. Regulate the ex-farmers. Formal contracts of regulated leases. Ah. Huh. Tax farming, right, but we don't have the influence right now to do that. But that is something that we could actually increase. In theory. I'm not entirely sure it would actually work. Sometimes they just don't pass the reforms. There is a lot of money in the career coffers right now. And I'm the biggest payer in there. Even bigger than England or France. To be fair, I've been paying um, a lot of uh, indulgence. Uh, we may be sinners, but we at least pay for it. <laughs> 